we've stopped you. We need to um, check your driver's details. Can you just put the handbrake on for us, please, mate? Just come out of the car for me, mate. Thank you. Do I have to, miss? We have a vehicle coming with a window smashing device. When that vehicle gets here, we will smash this window in order to get into this car. So step out of the car for a minute. No, I'm not stepping out of the car. So what are you doing, sir? Oh, you're you're trespassing. It's always a good day when I don't see police. I really like those days when I don't see a single police officer. So what, what have you stopped me for? Can somebody explain what you've actually stopped me for? Yeah, this is when it all started, when, as soon as I sort of like had no bum fluff and it was a beard on my face, that's when it started like getting pulled over, search, attitude. I've been mocked by the police for having a beard, like, oh, can we join the club? What are you doing with that on your face? And, you know, maybe I look like a, a terrorist or something, I don't know. What do you think? No? <laughs> Well, you know, my name's Sean, uh, I'm a revert to Islam, my day job is a plumber, I'm an electrician call, so by the time this is on telly, I should be a qualified electrician and all. Family man, I'm a peaceful man. Um, I'm with my four and a half year old son, yeah. yeah? You've got this one here with the gun that's giving it all the intimidation, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car. I put the videos up on YouTube for the simple fact I wanted people to be aware of like, you know, the people that you're turning to, to trust, are, are not the people you really can trust. I mean, you can't, just because someone's in a uniform, yeah, and shows a badge, it doesn't mean they're above you. It doesn't mean they're better than you, you know? They're here to uphold the, the law of the land. And I mean, like, the majority of the people on here, like, let's go to the likes, because that's where you get the real, the real idea of who, how many people really like it, you know? I mean, you know, 253 likes and there are 41 dislikes. Quite high for what you want dislikes, but you are the reason there are wars. No. And just do as you're told, you daft. I hope you smash your car into a temple and kill yourself. <laughs> you know, this is all online. You can see these comments. It's actually like, okay. <laughs> White Muslims laugh out loud. Oh, is it? Is that funny? <laughs> the next generation, eh? Oh, watch him, watch him, watch him. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Watch, 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 if you're young and you're sick and tired of being pulled up or stopped and searched in the street like a common criminal, make the police work. Make them take you to the station, fill out all the paperwork. Sooner or later, their bosses are going to get upset with them that they keep stopping and searching people because you don't have to get searched. You can, you can refuse to be searched in the street. The harassment's been going on for a long time now. I mean, certain of my friends will not even get into this car. It's the hotmobile. They just will not get into it. Like, they'd rather get on the bus. The reason why I started filming the uh, police harassing me was because Nobody would believe me when I tell them I've been pulled up twice in a day. They've mocked me. They've lied about things like saying my car smells of cannabis. Clearly doesn't. We're going to be searching documents of this for uh, misuse of drugs at offences. Cannabis, basically. There is an emission of cannabis from this vehicle. And drugs can be smoked inside your car. So for that reason, you're going to be searching... Are you for real? Barefaced liars. <laughs> liars. <laughs> you. You see you. You are a liar. And I uh, just started exercising my rights, as in, like my right to live a peaceful life, my right to live anonymous. What is your name? No? Yeah, we're going to be a couple of minutes uh, trying to deal with a stop, but uh, very unfortunate. You come along with your badge and your uniform or your costume, and I've got to tell you who I am. No, it doesn't work like that. I was born on this land as a free man, and to this day, I'm a free man. Ooh, there's police. I had a police officer, he was on one of the videos, he going, how are we to know that your car's not stolen? What? Has somebody reported it stolen? No one's reported it stolen, ever. So it does nothing to do with it. You, 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 property in here, there could be drugs in here, there could be guns, knives, this is a dangerous place around here. I'll tell you what, if that's the case, you better stop everyone then. Why are you, gonna, why are you just going to stop me? Right, I've had enough of you. Open the what, you've had enough of me? Yeah. Well, it's just... 
the Metropolitan Police website says you can film them in public. So make sure you do that first. Get your camera phone out. You know when you turn up to your to your plumbing jobs? Yeah. Have there ever been any funny reactions? Yeah, definitely. De <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, they looked at me and they want ID straight away. Well, have, 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 have you got the card or something? Are you gas safe? In certain places, yeah, you feel like it outside. You see people looking, like, they're shocked. The shock on people's faces that I've seen. Like, you, you know what they're saying. Look at that white Muslim. SubhanAllah, I mean, there's countries full of white Muslims. Inshallah, England will be one of them. <laughs> I can relate to feeling alien, you know, as in regards to the white race. In one of the comments on uh, the video that I put, my apology, so was, um, you're not a disgrace to your religion, you're a disgrace to the white race. When, when I first took my shahada and came to Islam, it was, you know, people didn't take it serious, obviously, they didn't think, you know, you, in South London, people thought it was a fashion. They think, everyone's coming to Islam, it's, it's, it's an uh, epidemic. An epidemic so people's hearts are just accepting the truth you know all my family's muslim now alhamdulillah my mum is a muslim my sister is a muslim my brother my brother is a muslim my mum's from belfast yeah she's from the for the falls road the falls road belfast <laughs> so you are boring mate you run out of conversation who was sean before islam <laughs> really flipping out really really you really? SubhanAllah. <coughs> <coughs> Cut that mat for a minute. You're not obliged to answer anything. However, they do have to answer you. Sean before Islam. <coughs> um, to be honest, I was just into all sorts. I, to be honest, I really don't want to say because I'm I'm ashamed of the past that I used to, what I used to be part of, you know. I'm ashamed of it, so I, I kind of want to keep it down. But I've been to prison a number of times. No, that's it. When I was when I was an active criminal, when I was active on the roads, like up to no good, I never used to get harassed. Harassment, nothing. They let me cut through nicely, and um, I have reformed myself. You know, I'm a qualified plumber now, I'm an electrician course, family man, been happily married over a year. That doesn't mean, like, uh, I'm a pussy now. <laughs> All right, now, just picking up my son. Yahya, Ibn Yahya. Stop stopping my dad. Talk properly, Yahya, why are you acting all shy? I was, no, I was a little bit naughty in primary school and the teacher used to just let me sit at the window and watch the birds all day long because it's the only thing that kept me quiet. The freedom that a bird has, you know, the freedom. If there's anything that my soul desires is to fly. I can go as fast as I want, I can go wherever I want. To fly like a bird. So you don't have to talk so abrasive to me. He, he knows me, this officer knows me. Hold on. Here. Here, keep recording, keep recording. Oh my god, I'm pulling out pieces. Stop resisting! I, I get all rough in my mouth and I get all rough in my mouth.